Hi, and welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Baluti. Today we will be interpreting remainders in division story problems. All of the story problems today will involve this equation, 90 divided by 12 equals blank. I'm going to solve this using partial quotients. Now I know that 12 goes into 90 seven times and that would give me 84. When I subtract, I get 6. So my answer is 7 remainder 6. We're going to use that math answer to interpret three separate story problems today. Here's the first story problem. Corey is making goodie bags for his birthday party. He has 90 candies and needs to make 12 goodie bags. How many candies will go in each goodie bag. So I've laid out the equation here. 90 divided by 12 equals 7 remainder 6. In this case, the 90 represents the 90 candies that Corey has. The 12 represents the number of goodie bags. The 7 represents the number of candies in each bag. So he has 90 candies, he's putting them into 12 bags, and so far, he can put 7 in each bag. The remainder 6 are the leftover candies that will not go in any goodie bag. So in this case, to interpret the equation, 7 candies will go in each goodie bag, but there will be 6 candies left over. Here's another story problem. 90 students eat lunch in the school cafeteria. Each table can seat 12 students. How many tables are needed in the cafeteria? So again, we're working with the same equation, 90 divided by 12 equals 7 remainder 6. In this case, the 90 represents the number of students who eat lunch in the school cafeteria. The 12 represents the number of seats that are available at each of the tables in the cafeteria. The 7 represents the number of filled tables, meaning there are 7 tables in the cafeteria that have 12 students sitting at them. And then there's remainder 6. The remainder 6 are the students who are without a table. They don't have a table. Now in this case, if we want to have every student seated at a table, we're going to need to round our number up so that every student has a seat. So in this case, eight tables are needed in the cafeteria so that each student has a seat. Here's the last story problem. Twelve friends had a lemonade stand and earned $90. They want to split the earnings equally. How much money will each friend get? So again, it is 90 divided by 12 equals 7 remainder 6 for our equation. In this case, 90 represents the number of dollars earned by the 12 friends. The 12 represents the number of friends who earned the money. 7 is the dollars that each friend gets. So if we start out with a pot of $90, we distribute that amongst 12 friends. So far, everybody gets $7. And the remainder six are the leftover dollars. So everybody gets $7, and there's six leftover dollars. Now the neat thing about money is that you can break dollars down into cents, and then distribute the cents. So I know that we have six leftover dollars. One thing that I know about money is that I know one dollar equals the same thing as 100 cents. And I'm going to use that to help me solve this problem. So I right now have six leftover dollars. And I know that's the same thing as 600 cents. So what I need to figure out is how can I distribute the 600 cents equally amongst my 12 friends? I'm going to set that up as 600 cents divided by 12 equals something. 
Now I know that 60 divided by 12 is 5, so 600 divided by 12 is going to be 50 cents. That helps me out a lot because I know that my friends, the 12 friends each got $7 and now they're getting an additional 50 cents. So if I want to put that all together, I can say that each friend will get $7.50. As you can see, the equation 90 divided by 12 equals 7 remainder 6 has several possible solutions when you're interpreting story problems. In the previous three problems, we came up with these three solutions. 7 with 6 left over, 8, and $7.50. So as you can tell, it's really important to be very careful when you're interpreting a story problem to make sure that you're coming up with an answer that accurately answers the question because there's several ways to solve a problem depending on the way that the, the story problem is written. Thank you so much for listening to How to Interpret Remainders in Division Story Problems.